Come you by the salmon fishing, come you by the ropery, saw you my dear sailor laddie sailing on the raging sea. I come by the salmon fishing, I come by the ropery, I saw your dear sailor laddie sailing on the deep blue sea. By the salmon fishing, come you by the ropery, jangles up the salmon bothy every Friday virtually. Dear Roddy, here we go, it's for Friday night where Sam and Bothy get together night. I hope you're all keeping safe and I hope you enjoy my choice of music tonight. It's been good fun. Choosing, uh, trying to get a good mixture of stuff for Abdi to enjoy. So, anyway, I'm going to start you off with um, the bros all day, um, with your natural food, of course. Never mind your haggis, a bowl of bros. Does your back good and does your belly good? So, here it is. New when I was a laddie and I left my home, I was fit to be or a man do not kill Blaine. Well, it was a big change for a laddie like me to hear the bros to my breakfast and my dinner and tea. Now the bros in the morning, it's a very wheel. It doesn't need chan in the milk, you can swill. But when dinner time comes, lush, I'd a rather hen brie than the bros to my breakfast and my dinner and tea. At night I was hungry for I get to my bed, and I dreamt of bannocks and butter instead. But I in the morning I walk in to see the bros to my breakfast and my dinner and tea. At the plough I made patterns a plate phase and neeps, and I went out full long on the bros they would keeps. But for lows and time come, we are tear in my I get into the bros for my dinner and tea. In the long summer nights and the cast and a peat, I was sometimes that hungry I could have eaten my beets. Now I've nibbled at carrots all nate lolly, for it's a long time on the bros tween your dinner and tea. Now that was the why that I fell in wee Jean. She was catchy at Calais, barely turned sixteen. She took pity and sometimes a cookie she'd geese as a change to the bros tween my dinner and tea. Now they say that the way to the hair to a man is to feed him up just as best as you can. Maybe Jeanie thought that for she said she'd agree to geese the bros to my breakfast but nae to my tea. Now there's folk that have thriven on hoddin and hose, and there's others would swear be a bowl for a bros. I dunna misdoot it, but fit about three bowls of bros to your breakfast and your dinner and tea. There we go. No, no, that was me singing the bros. Bros are day, quite a favourite of mine. But now we've got Moonshine Madness, uh, Ronan, a great stalwart to our, uh, our folk club, and his uh, friend Neil Hankin, going by the name of Moonshine Madness, and the two of them are playing dueling banjos. Bring it on. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
That was fine. Thank you very much. Moonshine Madness. Uh, keep anything going fine as always. Next up, I've got uh, Ruth and Jim Fisher, my good friends and neighbours in White Hills here. They are singing um, Morning Star. Now, I got the words of this for Ruth a while back. Uh, if you listen carefully to the words, if you're going through a bit of a, a sad bit time in your life, the words are very, very poignant. And I thank Ruth and Jim for the, the words at the time when I was going through a little wee patch. So here we go. Jim and Ruth Fisher, Morning Star. Hello, this is a song that I wrote quite a few years back. Um, it's basically about anyone who was lost too soon and it's called Morning Star. Grand new Jim and Ruth, really nice. Thank you so much for that. 
Uh, next up, I've got a special guest, uh, Mr. Alan Taylor, one of the great stalwarts of the Bothy Ballad scene. Uh, Alan is going to be singing Generations of Change, which is on his CD. He made up a CD a wee while back. Uh, well worth listening to if you get a chance to buy one. And also, he's been doing on Facebook, he's been doing a See You Sunday, a show for 3.30 on a Sunday afternoon with requests and uh, just keeping the Bothy and the, the, the Doric singing going. So, here up. Alan Taylor. Hi, this is uh, a song by Matt Armour from Fife uh, about the changing times and the changing trades that people do as they change generations called the Generations of Change. My father was a bailey for we firm pit play. He frocked on the ground all the days of his life. By the time he made second, he I said he reckoned he'd blued me on our half of this new go five. He feed on at Grand Austin, Crawhill and Cluppington, Camby and Cambo and Begrenny's Hill. At King's Barns he was married, at Boar Hills he was buried, and man had he lived he'd be blowing on still. For these days were his days, these ways were his ways, to follow the blue while his back was still strong. But these days are past, and the time come at last for the weakness of age to make way for the young. I was never bluing to the sea I was going to follow the fish and the fisherman's ways. Rain, hail and sunshine, I've watched the long run line Nae man mair contented his hail working days. I long line the flood and grun, Dutch and the dogger bank, Pood the big fish fae the deep devil's hole. I sight all of Iceland and Faroe and Shetland, and with her much war than a body could thaw. For these days were my days, these ways were my ways, to follow the fish while my back was still strong. But these days are past, and the time come at last. For the weakness of age, to make way for the young. My sons, they have grown, and away they have gone, To search for black oil, neath the far northern seas. Like oilmen they walk, and like Yankees they talk, Ah, there's nae much in common between my sons and me. They've roughnecked on Josephine, Forties and Ninian, Dunlin and Claymore and Fisher and Dock. They make fortunes for sure, for on one run ashore. They spend mair than I am for my hail season's work. For these days are their days, these ways are their ways. The rider of rigs, while well, their backs are still strong. But these days will pass, and the time come at last. For the weakness of age, to make way for the young. My grandsons are growing, to the school they are going. But the long days of summer they spend here with me. We walk through the warm days, talk of the old ways. Cornfields, the codfish, the land and the sea. 
We walk through the fields, my father once told. Talk to the old lads that in sailed with me. Man, it's been half a good, I've told them all I could. Oh, the past and the present, what the future might be. For what will be their days, what will be their ways. What will they make of the land, sea and sky? Man, I've seen half a change, but it still feels guy strange. Do you look at my world through a young laddie's eyes? Generations of change. Thank you, Ella. That was well sung. And um, the words, goodness knows what will happen to our families in the future, uh, are going through the generations with COVID and nothing is going on in the world. But anyway, thanks very much, Alan. Now, next up, we've got uh, our good friends, uh, Paul and Debbie Moody. Uh, Paul's going to do the next saga in uh, Albert's Adventures. And Debbie's going to be um, playing a wee tune, McPherson Rant. So they'll be in after the other, so we'll just go and hear them right now. Paul and Debbie Moody. Hello again. We're back in the new house. And this week it's been, this weekend it's been the uh, memories of the Glastonbury Festival on the telly, which reminded me that Albert went to Glastonbury and turned up at a rave. There's a famous hippie festival called Glastonbury, noted for fresh air and fun. And Mr and Mrs Ramsbottom went there with young Albert, their son. A grand little punk was young Albert, all dressed in his best, quite a swell. He had some skunk that he couldn't quite handle, the best that dealers could sell. They didn't think much to Craftfield. The crowds were all fiddling and smart. They were relaxed and mellow and grounded. In fact, nothing to freak out at at all. So, seeking further amusement, he took an E and went to a rave, where everyone sweated profusely and said wicked and sorted and safe. There was one great big DJ called Wallace who played techno and jungle and rap and everybody thought it was groovy except Albert who thought it was crap. So straight away brave little fella not showing a morsel of fear talked on the skunk he couldn't quite handle and shouted in Wallace's ear My name is Albert Ramsbottom and I'm just down for a day. I was wondering if you can play some Temptations, Four Tops or Marvin Gaye. Now you could see DJ didn't quite like the idea, but giving a kind of a grin, he put on some ultra hard techno jungle, which did the little lad in. Now Pa, who had seen the concurrence, and didn't know what to do next, said, Yon DJ's freaked out our Albert. And Ma said, Eee, I am vexed. Then Mr and Mrs Ramsbottom, quite rightly when all said and done, complained to the rave organiser that the DJ had freaked out their son. Ma had turned a bit awkward when she thought how her son's mind had gone. She said, somebody's got to be summonsed. So that were decided upon. Off they went to Thielin Field, but wise women were hanging about. And they explained what had happened to young Albert, about the DJ freaking him out. The wise woman gave her opinion 
that the techno was really to blame. What with the E and the skunk that he'd had, it scrambled the little lad's brain. So she gave him a joint of her own groan, and maimed him lie down in a field, and she put on her Van Morrison tape, and soon young Albert were healed. At that, Ma got proper grateful, and thank you kindly, miss, said she. And she had a quick talk on the own groan, and they all went home for tea. Keep safe, we'll see you again. Hello everybody, um, as you most of you know, Paul and I sing with the 75 Club Choir and uh, we go around and torture poor residents in uh, nursing and care homes with our renditions of Scottish songs and um, it's all good fun and most people invite us back so we can't be that bad. So uh, one of the songs that we do is McPherson's Rant, so when I saw this in the book I thought mm, that's the one to do this week. So here we go. Uh, a rendition of McPherson's Rant. No, thank you, Paul and Debbie. That was just as fine as I was. Be the toy yet. Next up, with a quine, we can have a wheel. She's a rich, weed natural storyteller and a Doric speaker to boot. And I have to say, it includes some very effective sound effects in her. So here's where very in, Lorna Summers, with a story for us. Good evening, everybody. I'm going for a change this time. I'm not. I'm doing a story, but it's in poetry form. And I first heard this poem from an English teacher who was desperately trying to get a bunch of 12, 13 year olds interested in poetry. And he came up with this one by a band called Robert Service. And I've loved this poem ever since. And it has been lampooned in a rugby song, but we won't won't have that version. We'll give you the genuine one. The Shooting of Dan McGrew. A bunch of the boys were whooping it up in the Malamut saloon. The kid that handled the music box was playing our jag time tune. Back of the bar in a solo game sat dangerous Dan McGrew and watching his luck with his light of our love the lady that's known as Lou. When out of the night, which was fifty below, and into the dim and the glare, there stumbled a miner fresh from the creeks, dog dirty and looking for bear. He looked like a man with a foot in the grave, and scarcely the strength of a legs. Yet he tilted a book of dust in the bar, and called for drinks for the house. There was none could place the stranger face. Though we searched ourselves for a clue, but we drank his health, and the last to drink was dangerous Dan McGrew. There's men that somehow just grip your eyes, 
and hold them hard like a spell. And such was he, and he looked to me like a man who had lived in hell, with a face most hair and the dreary stare of a dog whose day is done, as he watered the green stuff in his glass, and the drops fell one by one. And I got to figuring who he was, and wondering what he'd do. And I turned my head, and they're watching him, with that lady that's known as Lou. His eyes went rubbering round the room, and he seemed in a kind of daze, till at last the old piano fell in the way of his wandering gaze. The ragtime kid was having a drink, there was no one else at the stool, so the stranger stumbles across the room and flops there, down like a fool. In a buckskin shirt that was glazed with dirt, he sat, and I saw him sway. Then he clutched the keys with his talons' hands. My God, but that man could play. Were you ever out in the grate alone, when the moon was awful clear, and the icy mountains hemmed you in with a silence you could hear, when the only howl of a timber wolf and you camped there in the cold, a half-dead thing in a stark dead world, clean mad for the muck called gold. Well, high overhead, green, yellow and red, the northern lights swept in bars. Then you've a hunch what the music meant, hunger and night and the stars. And hunger not of the belly kind, that's banished with beans and bacon, but the gnawing hunger of lonely men for their home and all that it means. For a fireside far from the cares that are, four walls and a room above, but oh, so cramful of cosy joy and crowned with a woman's love. A woman dearer than all the world, and true as heaven is true. God, how ghastly she looks through her rouge, a lady that's known as Lou. Then of a sudden the music changed, so soft you scarce could hear, but you felt your heart had been looted clean of all that it once held dear, that someone had stolen the woman you loved, that your love was a devil's lie, that your guts were gone and the best for you was to crawl away and die. It was the crowning cry of a heart's despair, and it thrilled you through and through. I guess I'll make it a spread misery, said dangerous Dan McGrew. The music almost died away, then it burst like a pent-up flood, and it seemed to say, repay, repay, my eyes were blind with blood. The thought came back of an ancient wrong, and it stung like a frozen lash, and the lust awoke to kill, to kill, and then the music stopped with a crash. And the stranger turned, and his eyes, they burned in a most peculiar way. In a buckskin shirt that was glazed with dirt, he sat, and I saw him sway. Then his lips went in in a kind of grin, and he spoke, and his voice was calm. And boy, says he, you don't know me, and none of you care a damn, but I want to state my words are straight, and I'll bet my poke they're true, that one of you is a hound of hell, and that one is Dan McGrew. Then I ducked my head, and the lights went low, and two guns blazed in the dark, and a woman screamed, the lights went up, and two men lay stiff. And stark. Pitched in his head and pumped full of lead was dangerous Dan McGrew, while the man from the creeks clutched to the breast of the lady that's known as Lou. These are the simple facts of the case, and I guess I ought to know. They say the stranger was crazed with hooch, and I'm not denying it so. I'm not so wise as a lawyer, guys. But strictly between us two, the woman had kissed him and pinched his poke was the lady that's known as Lou. Good night. Thank you, Lana. That was just grand. Now, next up, Tom and Maggie Spears, great stalwarts for the club. We uh, sang for a local village here for Aberherder or Foggy Loan, and it's called the Marnan Fair. So thank you, Tom and Maggie.
This song is from the singing of Jimmy Macbeth and it's called Marmon Fair. My friends is gathered here tonight, come listen to my tale. And I'll tell you, oh, alas, I like and she likes me as well. She has rosy cheeks and ruby lips and bonny curly hair. And I met her out in foggy alone, the neck to a morning fair. So hurrah, boys, hurrah, for the life of a married man. I've been as happy as a king, my lad, since I married Mary Ann. She's a pair of een that ne'er was seen, and the wife she wore her hair. And I met her out in full alone, the neck to a morning fair. The first time that I've teen her him, my bottle it was full. The first time I get ye on the hung road, I'm sure I'll never rue. Her parents, they get consent, so we hired a coach and pair. And it happened we've got married on the neck to a morning fair. So hurrah, boys, hurrah, for the life of a married man. I've been as happy as a king, my lad, since I married Mary Ann. She's a pair of een that ne'er was seen, and the wife she wore her hair. And I met her out in foggy lawn, the neck to a marmon fair. We've wandered through the heather, I, the thistle and the slow. And that very night, my lads, I've teen her to a show. I've bought her candy by the lumps, she thought that it was rare. And I've kissed that candy off her lips, the neck to a morning fair. So hurrah, boys, hurrah, for the life of a married man. I've been as happy as a king, my lad, since I married Mary Ann. She's a pair of een that ne'er was seen, and the wife she wore her hair. And I met her out in foggy alone, the neck to a morning fair. I knew that we are married, and to end our earthly joys. I'll tell you's on the quiet, we've been blessed, we appear our boys. They're the very image o oh, their da, the neighbours are declared. So we're gone to open a baby show, the neck to a morning fair. So hurrah, boys, hurrah, for the life of a married man. I've been as happy as a king, my lad, since I married Mary Ann. She's a pair of een that ne'er was seen, and the wife she wore her hair. And I met her out in foggy lawn, the neck to a morning fair. That was just grand new Tommy Maggie, so thank you very much for that. Now to finish the first half, uh, and go back to the archives, and a fistle tune with the late, great uh, Wendy de Rousse. Now I had the privilege to work under her at Portese Hall when she was doing the storytelling, way back in my early Bothy days, uh, uh, the Salmon Bothy days. And uh, she was running out of the schools, carrying her puppets on the bus, and handing out tin fistles to the kids, and learning how to play tunes and stories, and... She was just an absolute marvel, and we miss her dreadfully. But um, this is a wee Irish tune. It's called Rushing Do, which is Little Duck Rosaline. And it's, uh, as I say, a ten fizzle tune, and it's a right bonny tune. So this is to finish my first half. Wendy de Rousse.
Leaving the harbour to ride on a wave. Row, row, row in a wah. Will they end in a watery grave? Row, row, row in a wah. The water is flat like a big marble slab. Row, row, row in a wah. Look, there's a quiny there catching a crab. Row, row, row in a wah. I saw that queen, she was chasing the loony. Row, row, row in the wah. Pulling together a wah for the dunny. Row, row, row in the wah. On the pink they're dashing and daring. Row, row, row in the wah. Skiffing a wah to bring back a heron. Row, row, row in the wah. The sutton the sprays reckon our hairdo. Row, row, row in the wah. As long as we're winning, we dare a canoe. Row, row, row in the wah. I rode we a quine, she said was a sailor. Row, row, row in the wah. The bigger she gets, she's more like a whaler. Row, row, row in the wah. The skipper was knocking a fair holly rocket. It's row, row, row in the wah. And he could not row for his all humpy bucket. Row, row, row in the wah. Here comes a quiny that looks like a loon. Row, row, row in the wah. When they get to the heron, they'll turn a run. And it's row, row, row in the wah. The oars rhythm dictated the song. Row, row, row in the wah. The heron's wait would not be long. Row, row, row in the wah. One mile behind, we got three more to row. Row, row, row in the wah. The more we're together, the faster we go. Row, row, row in the wah. The queen he saved us a wah for the shore. Row, row, row in the wah. The swell o' the sea lifted us more. Row, row, row in the wah. The shoreline smells drifted away. Row, row, row in the wah. The tang of the sea, it hangs in the spray. Row, row, row in the wah. The puleys cried their raucous crick. Row, row, row in the wah. They stuttered and swayed in the boat is wick. Row, row, row in the wah. Now we turn homeward and pull for the shore. Row, row, row in the wah. Bend your backs with me and pull on your oar. Row, row, row in the wah. Pull on the oars with all of your might. Row, row, row in the wah. Keep in the moor of the herbert in sight. Row, row, row in the wah. Pull through the breakers and bring us to land. Row, row, row in the wah. Safe in the height we haul up on the sand. Row, row, row in the wah. And it's row, row, row in the wah. Now, I hope you're all a fine cup of tea and a dram or a beer or whatever. Uh, this is the start of the second half and I was going to give the hush of Benagok. It's uh, all about a big firm called Benagok and uh, all the folk that worked on it and a young lad that, that was fit to work there. So it tells you all about the day-to-day -day life and all the folk that worked there. So here it is, the hush of Benagok. 
Sachs, month come out and mess a feet to tar a tune. Ay, the sail is the brass lad in a the country run. We a ring dum day, a ring dum day, ring dum a little come a dandy o. Do all woolly feet me and Ruby never spoke. To come and call the second pair to hush a ben a gook. We a ring dum day, a ring dum day, ring dum a diddle come a dandy o. Were foreman's like a constable, he'd never falls asleep. Up and in the long rigs, he'd never slacks a feet. We a ring dum day, a ring dum day, ring dum a diddle come a dandy o. Do the sick and belly, that's my sail, a cop, a pair of bruins, raising rag nails on the foreman's heels, I fairly keep my runes. We a ring dum day, a ring dum day, ring dum a diddle come a dandy o. The third he comes fae foggy low, new he's a painted chill, but his horse and his harness are aye a looking wheel. We a ring dum day, a ring dum day, a ring dum a diddle come a dandy o. Sign we have an oar a man he seldom cars the plough, for there's a plenty oar a jobs and file some nips the poo. We a ring dum day. A ring dum day, a ring dum a diddle come a dandy o. Do Sharney dubs the bailey, do he's a hardy chill. A run a boot yon kettle a nuke cigars his bar a reel. We a ring dum day, a ring dum day, a ring dum a diddle come a dandy o. Well, he rises in the morning and he gives the door a crash and he roars out and if he's picky say, I think we'll hae a thrush. We a ring dum day, a ring dum day, a ring dum a diddle come a dandy o. It's a ye jolly horsemen ye lagging to the plough, the oar a man to car the neeps. In Sharney fall and poo, we a ring dum day, a ring dum day, a ring dum a diddle come a dandy o. Do Ruby has a brother, but he's wrong am on the feet. Ach, to see him kniping o'er the clothes would like to mak ye greet. We a ring dum day, a ring dum day, a ring dum a diddle come a dandy o. Sine has a sister, no she's for drink and neat, but ach she keeps the both the bellies hell of a scarce a meat. We a ring dum day, a ring dum day, a ring dum a diddle come a dandy o. No we hae a gallant kitchen name, her name is Bessie Brown. Faith would tuck a saddle girth, her middle tag a roon. We a ring dum day, a ring dum day, a ring dum a diddle come a dandy o. Do the author of this canty tale, if you want it to be known, will spear you at the heron boats on the pier at foggy lawn. We a ring dum day, a ring dum day, a ring dum a diddle come a dandy o. We a ring dum day, a ring dum day, a ring dum a diddle come a dandy o. You know, that was a Hasha Ben Agok. I hope you enjoyed it. Next up, uh, we're first guest to our first day regular in the second half. We've got Debbie Taylor. She's been a great asset to our both open mic sessions. We are in songs about aspects of life. So here she is. We are song All the Bump. Thank you, Debbie. Hello, this is a little song called All the Bump. Um, it's one that I've sung at the club a few times. So the regulars have got no excuse for not singing along at home. All the bump literally means all the stuff, but bump is also the local name for the town of Banff, which is just a few miles from Port Soy. And I wrote the song after a day out in Banff a couple of years ago. So basically it's all the stuff about Banff. <laughs> Bye. 
choice of target clubs we got to learn to swim and back you freeze on the shore Thanks, Davy. That was just grand as I was. No, but the uh, next performer, uh, one of our great stalwarts of the the both of uh, Mike Blackburn, were Friday night Facebook presentations it just wouldn't be possible at the minute, like so. He sang a song at two or three weeks ago, but it's a favourite of mine, and I'm going to ask him to sing it again. It's Mike Blackburn, the one and only, with Sea Fever. Thank you, Mike. Sea Fever. Of the running tide 
is a wild call and a clear call that may not be denied. And all I ask is a windy day with the white clouds flying and flung spray and the blown spew and the seagulls. I must go down to the seas again To the vagrant gypsy life To the gull's way and the whale's way Where the wind's like a wetted knife And all I ask is a merry yarn From a laughing fellow rover And quiet sleep and a sweet dream when the long trade's over. Thank you, Mike. I just love that song. Thank you so much. It takes me back to my school days when I was uh, doing the John Mayfield uh, poetry for uh, higher English. But thank you very much indeed. Next up, a weekend regular, a part soy loon. Although he's been in Peter Heed now, but a great Bothy ballad singer, we're very, very own Mr. Bill Gray. We farewell to Tarwathy. Thank you, Bill. Here's one of my favourite wailing songs, Farewell to Tarwathy. Farewell to Tarwathy, a Jew in hell, and the dear land of Crimin, thy bidy farewell. I am bound now for Greenland and ready to sail In the hope to find riches a hunting away Adieu to my comrades for a while we must bear And likewise true love for fair one my hair the cold ice of Greenland, my love, it won't chill And the longer my absence, the more loving she'll feel Our ship was well renewed and ready to sail Our crew, they are anxious to follow the whale where the highs will do float and the storm even blow, and the land and the ocean is covered with snow. Or oh, the cold coast of Greenland is barren and bare, nay seed time nor harvest is ever known there. And the birds they sing sweetly o'er mountain and dale, and the rest of the body to sing to the whale. There is no habitation for a man to live there, and the king of the country is a fierce green and bare. And there'll be no temptation to tarry land there We are ship and we're full, it's homeward repair Farewell to Terwati, a Jew Mormon hill And the dear land of Kermund, I bid thee farewell I am bound now for Greenland and ready to sail And the hope to find riches a hunting away That was just a ticket, New Bill. Thank you very much for your contribution. New another regular. She's no long joined us, but my gosh, she's fitted in half, half a wheel. And quickly, when we're hurt, we are whistle playing in our songs, especially the Insha Rights Herself. So here she is, Julianne Wall, with one of my favourites, 
the pheasant plucker. Take it away, Julie. This is called The Pheasant Plucker's Wife. Well, here's a little story, a cautionary tale. Lend an ear and listen as you sup upon your ale. Here is on your patience and your pity I prevail. In hopes that I might stay my great sorrow and travail. Oh, I'm not the pheasant plucker, I'm the pheasant plucker's mate. I'm only plucking pheasants cause the pheasant plucker's late. I'm not the pheasant plucker, I'm the pheasant plucker's wife. He's had me plucking pheasants now for half my married life. Well, when I married Charlie, he was just the plucker's son. He said he'd be a soldier and go marching with a gun. Bring me silks and fancy things from places in the sun. And then the war was over and his soldiering was done. When he came marching home again, he was in a bind. He looked all around the town, but work was hard to find. To join the family business was the last thing on his mind. And as you might imagine, I was also disinclined. Oh, I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm a pheasant plucker's mate. I'm only plucking pheasants, cause the pheasant plucker's late. I'm not the pheasant plucker, I'm the pheasant plucker's wife. He's had me plucking pheasants now for a half my married life. I could have been the butcher's wife and lived on fine steak Or went with Joe the baker and I'd never want a cake But I fell for a dreamer and got caught up in his wake Now I'm plucking pheasants till me back and fingers ache Oh, I'm not the pheasant plucker, I'm the pheasant plucker's mate I'm only plucking pheasants cause the pheasant plucker's late I'm not the pheasant plucker, I'm the pheasant plucker's wife He's had me plucking pheasants now for half my married life Feathers, they get up my nose, they get stuck in my hair In my dress and down my back, there's feathers everywhere Looking pheasants dawn to whisk is more than I can bear If I could do it all again, I'd run the mile, I swear Oh, I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm the pheasant plucker's mate I'm only plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucker's late I'm not the pheasant plucker, I'm the pheasant plucker's wife He's had me plucking pheasants now for half my married life. Oh, I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm the pheasant plucker's mate. I'm only plucking pheasants cause the pheasant plucker's late. I'm not the pheasant plucker, I'm the pheasant plucker's wife. He's had me plucking pheasants now for half my married life. No, Julie, that was just grand. That song, I Max Me Smile. Now, I'd like to welcome my both a favourite, Alison McConaughey, accompanied by a very talented guitarist husband, uh, Neil, and I would like them to do The French Prostitute. I just love the song as well. It's so good, and Alison sings it so well. So here we go, Alison and Neil McConaughey. <laughs> Too hard to find 
last He falls asleep with his face and last And he wakes up with the shakes And he drinks from his flask I put my arms around him Oh, they die in the trenches They die in the air In Belgium and France The dead are everywhere And they die so fast There's no time to prepare A decent grave to surround them Old world glory Old world fame The old world is gone Gone up in flames Nothing will ever and nothing lasts forever I'd pray for him But I've forgotten how And there's nothing that can save him now And there's always another With that same courtly bow And who am I to deny them? Let us dance beneath the moon I'll sing to you the morning always comes too soon Tonight the war is over Let us dance beneath the moon I'll sing to you, Pedro The morning always comes too soon Tonight the war is over Thanks, Alison. Thanks, Neil. That was just grand. New, uh, another pal of mine, another uh, great ballad singer, Faye Tarvis, uh, John Dixon. And I was going to ask him to read the Burg Heed songs. So take it away, John. Song called the Burg Heed songs. Come again, come again, the Burg Heed man, and sail away the morning day. Come again, come again. And you know when you stand on the birthday sun And the years be ten times ten Are you like me a slave to the ocean With all your back on the sea once again When the finishing is done and the harvest will won The good and both days Oh, 
Thank you, John. Well sung as always. We'll hopefully catch up with you along and we'll get a song together maybe. Uh, now folks, I hope you've enjoyed your evening's entertainment. Just tell you how to keep safe and uh, keep your distance until uh, I think it's back to bare normality. And keep watching my Friday nights at the uh, Salmon Bothy. And we'll hopefully see you at Runa Boot uh, Wee Hall in October. Good villain and I think goes to plan. So to finish off your evening, I'll just say cheerio, and here's a rousing uh, fiddle tune for Guy Burgess, the Orange Blossom Special. Cheerio now, keep safe, Abdi. <laughs>